Today I'm going to exhort the body of Christ to pray. San Bernardino may just be the beginning, but our country is wrapped up in confusion. You've got men wanting to be women, women wanting to be men. You have the president of a country endorsing confusion. People murdering babies and selling baby parts. You have so many police officers, crooked police officers, killing innocent children and getting off. We're in a ball of confusion. And the only, the only way to change this and to turn this is through the power of prayer. I remember one time I was in Alabama, and some of you that might listen to this will remember those meetings. We went, went into a church, and the church was folding. I mean, it was dry. There was no presence of God there. And we locked ourselves. I had a team of people, and we locked ourselves in the sanctuary, and we prayed all day for seven days. And I'm telling you, the power of God broke out in that place. People were getting healed. People were getting delivered. And I'm, when, I, when I tell that story, I'm thinking about uh, James chapter 5, where it talks about Elias or Elijah. And it says, Elias was a man subject to like passions as we are. And he prayed earnestly that it might not rain, and it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. Now, God does not change. He is not a man that he should lie, and God changes not. And the Bible says in 2 Chronicles chapter 7 that if my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, that God would hear us from heaven and heal our land. Our land needs healing. Political power is not going to change it. Financial power is not going to change it. Most likely people flow into greed. But if we'll pray... And if we'll pray and pray and pray, if we humble our hearts, if we turn from our wickedness, God is not pleased with the perversion that's being promoted in our country. God is not pleased with the perversion that's being promoted in the earth. The excess in the church, people are saying that uh, God is money. And they're not saying that right out, but in essence, they're saying their God is money. God is a holy God. And I want you to listen to me. God is not pleased with the kind of addictions that pastors have and, and that's permitted in the church. Judgment's going to start at the household of God. But until we turn from our wickedness, this confusion and this devastation, this murder, pestilences and famines and earthquakes in many, many places, horrible weather patterns, we're going to face it. But we can turn it if we pray. If we would cry out to God and repent of our sins, and if we would ask God to send a revival, our country can live again. Pray. Don't talk about prayer. Be involved in the process of prayer. And the most powerful prayer you can pray is find scriptures and quote those scriptures to God. And with a humble heart, cry out to God for his mercy. God bless you.